Okay, now I want to focus in on the navigation bar. I want to go in and set it up and be able to format it with a variety of styles. And to do so, we're going to have to modify my existing code. Right now I have it simply set up as a, uh, with anchor tags and the links setting up so that way when I click on home it will take me to index.html. When I click on about, it takes me to about.html. When I view this in Firefox, you can view it in any browser, the navigation bar itself is going to cross horizontally. And that's a common feature in this part. So what I want to do now is I want to format that area to go in and, and bring out the color scheme and also to, um, to go in and add a little extra spacing um, so that's not so close together in that. So to do that we're going to go in and set our links our links up as a list. So what I want to do here, I want to create an unordered list and I'm going to give it a name. And I'm going to use the ID attribute to do so and I'm going to name it nav list. Again you can name it anything you want and in this case I'm going to put my closing UL tag in because you got to put, you always have to end it there and I typed in forgot the slash so let me put the slash in. Now each of these items are going to become list items so I'm going to put in an LI tag for each of these items here and this is how we create a bullet list. So let me just paste this in then at the end of each list is a closing LI tag Again, I'm going to do a copy and paste to make it easier. Now, so what I'm doing is I'm creating a list, a bullet list, but that's going to have an issue with our layout. So when I look at this now and I do a reload, you're going to see it goes vertical and adds all this, um, uh, adds bullets to the left. We don't want that. We want it to go horizontally. So we're going to have to go in and we're going to have to control the styling of that list. Also notice what happened right above my navigation bar, it added some em empty space. Because when I work with a list, it is a block element, so it's automatically going to add space above and below it, and that's going to cause an issue with your layout. And I mentioned in a couple other videos where you're going to have to go in and say, okay, I don't want that spacing added at all, so we will actually subtract or say, hey, no spacing by saying margin zero on that part. So we're going to do some modifications to our style sheet. So I'm going to go to my style sheet here and in this case I've added a new style ID called pound nav list. Okay so I'm going to come in here I'm going to simply type in pound nav list I'll zoom in a little bit so that way you can see it. I'm going to put a curly brace in, closing curly brace now the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take away that spacing issue. So I'm going to say padding zero, uh, colon, zero, semicolon, margin, colon, zero, semicolon. And then I want to take away the bullets. So to do that I'm going to use a property called list style type. It's list hyphen style hyphen type, colon, none and then in a semicolon. Now what I'm going to do here is I'm going to save this and we'll come back to my browser and when I click on reload notice how the nav bar now is connected to my header section notice that my bullets are gone. Now they're not going to cross horizontally yet so what we have to do is we want that to go across horizontally and right now we have list items is causing it to go uh, to be on top of each other. So to do that then I want to add another style that's going to affect the nav list section and the li tags within it. Okay, This is allowing me to be specific on those areas. So I'm just going into pound nav list li and, and anywhere if I had a list somewhere else on my page it only affects in this section only. So the other list will not be affected. So I'm going to say simply display inline because right now it's a block element which adds space above and below so we're going to take that away and say display inline I'm going to save that and let's look in our browser real quick reload now it's going horizontally across so we just took a bullet list and now we're making it go horizontally now we can get more control over the formatting of our text 
So in this case, I want to add a little extra space. I want to go in and you know maybe change the color and things like that. Okay. So to add a little extra space in here, just so you can see it, what I want to do is I'm going to have because I'm working with the anchor tag now. I got the list item taken care of, so I want the space between our anchor tags. And so what I want to do is I want to add another style. Pound nav list A space A curly brackets. And so you can see this, I'm just going to simply add margin hyphen right. And I'm going to experiment here. This is where you have to experiment depending on how many links you have. I'm going to save it. And what I want to do here is just click on reload. See how I have, and I'm increasing the space. So if you want to add a little extra space on the left, you do margin hyphen left on that. So again, what we're trying to do is we're just experimenting with the formatting to, to kind of get the text, the navigation section to come out the way we want. Okay, so now when I look at it, I want to do some other formatting of this. First thing I want to do is I want to move the navigational links down um, so it's more in the center, and I want to move it over from the left side so it's not right on the edge. So there's a couple different ways of doing it. I'm just going to go back to my nav list. I want to change the padding from 0 to 15 pixels, and that's automatically going to add space on the top, left, right, and bottom of my navigation bar. And when I do a reload here, you can see that it's moved down and it's in the middle. This is where you have to experiment. You can't trust myself when it says 15 pixels. I have to know the height of my section. I have to go in. If you do too much, then you adjust it. This is experimentation with. Then I want to go in and I want to just change the size, the font size of the text um, on that part. So if I look at my, my text, I think it's a little bit small. So what I want to change is the font size. So where do I apply that style? Do I apply it to nav list? Do I apply it to nav list li? Or do I apply it to nav list a? So what's controlling that? It's actually the anchor tag is controlling that. So what we want to do here is we actually want to go into our nav list a and we're going to make some uh, uh, additions here. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to increase the size. I'm going to add font hyphen size. I'm going to say 18px. Now when I save it, again, I like anytime I add something, I like to look at it. See, it gets a little bit larger. Now I'm going to make the font weight bold so it stands out even more. So I'm going to just say font hyphen weight bold. Oops, get that semicolon at the end. And again, when I reload here, you can see it get a little bit bold. I, I kind of want to extend the spacing a little bit more as well. So what I want to do here is um, I have margin right set to 20. I'm going to say margin hyphen left. And let's go 20 px as well. It's going to spread it out a little bit more evenly. Now if you want to go all the way across, then you have to know the width of that section and then divide it up uh, the spacing uh, based on how many links that you have. So you know, math comes involved. So that's one thing. Now what I want to do now is I want to go in and change the formatting of my hyperlinks so that it fits my color scheme. Blue doesn't fit. When I click on it and I visit that link, it'll change to purple. That's the default colors. So what we have to do is we have to use special uh, coding here to go in and have it affect our links. So I can't just add it to one of the styles we have to add, uh, already have existing. So I have to go back into my code and add a couple additional styles here. So I do want to affect just the styles in my um, nav list section. So I only want to affect the anchor tags that are in here. So if you have any links anywhere else, then you might have another style for it. So to do that, I am going to say, oops, let me see where I'm at. Oh, there we go. I am going to have pound nav list space A, but then what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a colon link. This is a special character that you have to work with. 
and this will basically change just the link colors the way the styling is for that so now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to add a little color and I'm going to say, I'm going to take away the underline to take away the underline I, I use the text hyphen decoration style rule and for changing the font color I'm going to use the color attribute or style rule as well so I'm going to say color colon I'm going to put the color in I'm going to then take away the underline and that's by saying text hyphen decoration none so now when I save this and I look at this let's take a look at this real quick now the links are now white and notice there's no underline now I need to take care of the visited color and so forth so I'm going to go back to my code I'm going to add another link but this time I'm going to go to the visited style and instead of saying colon link you're going to say colon visited so here I'm changing color and I'm also making sure the tech decoration stays none so when I save this and then I rebrowse or refresh here you can see it's a lighter gray for that purpose now this is important when you start looking at adjusting link colors you have to make sure you put this in the right order link a colon link goes first a colon visit goes second and if you want to do um, active and hover styles like you can actually add a hover effect that basically when you bring your mouse over top of it it will change to a different color so there's a certain order you have to place it in so if I actually had visited listed first right before nav link a colon link it would not work so that's something you have to look up but again we're just making some slight adjustments to this to show you how to format that style to make it stand out for that navigation bar so again all I'm doing here was modifying my code so I can get my navigation bar to come out and and when you set it up as a list you're gonna have a better control over formatting and then eventually if you're going to add some JavaScript and create drop down lists and things like that you'll get better control if you set it up as a list but when you do that you got to format it and if you don't format it then that's where you have some issues okay now that what I've just did here really helps when you have a navigation bar that goes across straight across horizontally what if you have a navigation bar that goes vertically? So maybe you want to have a column look where you're going to have buttons over here on the left hand side that goes vertical. Okay, so it's a little bit different than what we just did. So if you're setting up in a column, then you still want to set up the you still want to set up your list. So I will have a UL tag here, ID nav list. Then I have my list items here. So it's identical in that standpoint to what we have going horizontally across but then there's some things we don't need to add like we'll definitely not add like display in line because we don't want to go horizontal um, there's some things we're going to add like for example we don't want the the, the bullets so some things are going to be identical and some things are going to change on that so yeah you are definitely going to have a list then you're just going to have to modify the styles accordingly on that part so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go into and add that nav list style, you know, and I'm going to say list style type. I add if I need to, I add some extra padding if I wanted to, um, but I'll come back over here. I'll say pound nav list, and right now I'm going to say list hyphen style hyphen type none. Oops, missing that hyphen there the other curly brace in. I'm going to say margin zero colon zero. That way it helps reduce the spacing that's automatically added when you add a list. So when I save it and click on reload the bullets are gone. Now if you want to add spacing uh, between it then you're going to add a little padding top, padding bottom uh, kind of similar to what we did was padding hyphen left, hy padding hyphen right. So here we're adding space above and below, and we could do that by simply saying padding hyphen top, 
15 pixels, padding hyphen bottom, 15 pixels. And actually, I would add this to the list item. My fault, I haven't added that in yet, so I'll wait on that. Um, let's go ahead, I, I forgot, we have to add the list item in there first. So, I'll definitely add the margin there. Then I would go in and have spacing between my list items. So I have the nav list I, this is where I would have my... So here, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say padding hyphen top, padding hyphen bottom. It's so where you got to experiment some. It's not just 15 pixels all the time, especially if you want to fill up this area. But as soon as I click on reload, you can see the extra space that's added on that part. So again, uh, if you want to change your coloring um, and so forth, uh, you can go in and uh, affect the anchor tag the way it is itself. So if you want to increase the font size of that, you can do so. So like here again, just like before, we'll do pound nav list A, font hyphen size 18 pixels, font hyphen weight, bold. Now before I also placed in like a margin right or a margin left, you don't want to do that because you know, we're doing, we're constraining it going down a left column. We're not going in working with a horizontal navigation bar. So now if I look at this again, when I click on reload here, it gets bold and it comes um, a little bit larger. Now the same thing can be said about the, the nav list A and then the, the visited and then the, the link. So we can add the same thing there. So I can go in here and add the same aspect I did before. That's going to control the coloring. So I click on reload. Goes the white and that lighter gray. Um, now some people, you know, if some people want to go in and um, center align this, you can also go in and do like text hyphen align uh, colon center. Add that in. So in this regards, I can add like the Navlis LI, I can say text align center. So it centers the contents and what's in the contents, the anchor. As you can see here, it centers the text. There's a lot of extra space on the left-hand side. That's because of the, the padding that we added. So that's where you have to adjust accordingly. You know, maybe there's not, you know, the, you know, a uh, little extra spacing that we have to take away. Um, so that's something to do. I'm gonna delete that. Another thing a lot of people like to do is to create button looks uh, for that. Uh, and you can actually create more of a button look with creating that navigation bar on the left hand side. And of course that's something to take a look at a little more. There's more tutorials out there to help you out. Um, but again, just remember as you're working with this, we're, we're, we're pretty much setting up the same way as the horizontal, but we're just adding just a couple extra formatting aspects of that that's going to be a little bit different um, compared to what we have something going horizontal. So again, excuse me, I apologize. Um, but this gives you a, a good idea how to set up your navigation bar. And um, if you have any questions, let me know.